in all the years that I've been around the ministry, I can say this with a sincere heart. I am so grateful and so humble to thank God to allow me to be able to see His hands working. Amen. Watching people's lives change. Yes. Amen. Watching people's lives be healed and delivered and blessed and prosper. That's an honor. Because I hear so many people say, I wish I could see that. And my only response is, you could if you'd come to the right place. Amen. I've had so many people tell me, and I was thinking about this last night and this morning, of how much compassion and love y'all got. That when somebody comes through the door, you make them feel like it's home. Amen. And then when you walk out of here, you feel like you left your family. And people say this all the time. I've never felt the warmth of love in a building. When I first came there, I could feel it. Do you know why? Because love is yes. one of the fruits that yes. we bear. Amen. That we help one another. There was a preacher this past week that he needed food. And he brought Two twins, four kids. He called him an armor bear. His wife and him. There was eight or nine all together. And I prayed for this one little girl. She was, I think, 11 years old. The one that, 11. 11 years old. And when she stood in front of me, I knew that she didn't have the mind of an 11-year-old. And I said to the mother and the father, I said, her mind is not 11. I asked her how old was. I said, her mind's not 11-year-old. She goes, five. I said, I believe that God can restore this child's mind Amen. and make her like she's supposed to be. I said, how many in here believe it? Of course, everybody in the tent raised your hand. Even the kids that didn't know what was going on. They become part of believing. I prayed for that little girl, and she went down. And I told the mother and the father, I said, God is restoring her mind. She will not be the same. Amen. So I went on, and I prayed for two or three others. And then this other little girl comes up. And she looked almost exactly like this girl, except the other girl had some blemish pimples. And I said, is that your sister? She said, yes, we're twins. And I prayed for her, and she went down. You see, nothing is impossible if you can believe for it. I want you to stop for a moment, close your eyes, and just think, what is your worst problem right now that you're going through? You don't have to tell nobody, but just think it right now. What is that worst problem? Is it that you are lonely? Is it you're broke? Is it that you're sick and afflicted? Is it your family issues? Is it your husband or your wife? Is it whatever? That is your worst problem right now. And you know what the Spirit told me to tell you? It's though it's nothing if you'll believe me. Amen. I can handle Amen. and settle all things Hallelujah. in your mind. Amen. For I am the Lord that heals thee. Yes. I am the Lord that gives you power yes. to get your wealth. Yes. I am the Lord that bared the cross and took on the stripes that anything that attacks your body, I've already healed it for you if you can believe me for it. I am the Lord thy God that can deliver your sons and your daughters, your husband and your wife. Those that are alcoholics, those that are drunk, those that are sick and afflicted in your family, and there is no hope. I am the hope, saith the Lord. trust in my word and you must trust in me for I am the word saith God. Hallelujah. 
burden with, I will bring you through them all. Look back in your life and see what I have brought you through so far, saith the Lord. There's only one thing that separates you from me. It's called sin. Repent. Get baptized. And serve me. Whatever sins in your life, get it under the blood. Whatever's hindered you to come to me, it's the devil, not me. For I have open arms and I have a door that you can knock. Truly I am that I am that I am. There's no other God beside me. For I am the God that made the heavens and the earth. It was form and void and I, the Lord, spoke. And it came to pass. And I, the Lord, thy God, can speak over your problems today. And it will pass away. But it is you that has to believe it. I don't make anybody serve me. I don't make anybody give me. I don't make anybody praise me. I don't make anybody do anything. All I say is, come freely. And when you come freely, you will find that I am that I am. Woo.